Have you ever heard of The Lemon Drop Kid? It's a movie from 1951 that's packed with laughs, surprises, and some touching moments. If you haven't seen it yet, you're in for a treat. Stick around because there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts about this movie coming up. So keep watching. The Lemon Drop Kid follows a small-time con artist who gets caught up in a scheme to raise money for a group of orphans. It's a heartwarming story with plenty of twists and turns to keep you entertained. Now, let me ask you, when was the first time you watched this movie? Do you have any lesser-known facts or anecdotes about it that fascinate you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So if you're looking for a classic film that's both funny and heartwarming, give the Lemon Drop Kid a watch. You won't be disappointed. Get ready for an adventure full of laughter and surprises. In this classic film adapted from a Damon Runyon story, our main character is a charming but scheming individual making a living off fake horse racing tips. After inadvertently angering a big time mobster, he faces a dire ultimatum to repay a debt by Christmas with no money and no allies. Desperate, he heads to New York for a loan, only to find his so-called friends unwilling to help. Left with few options and the threat of harm, he hatches a cunning plan involving an old folks home and a festive portrayal of Santa Claus. The narrative unfolds with a mix of wit and whimsy as audiences are drawn into his escapades and the unexpected twists that ensue. Despite minor hiccups like an amusing oversight during a rendition of Silver Bells, the movie remains thoroughly enjoyable. The lead's comedic talent shines throughout, making this film a standout addition to their repertoire. Overall, this cinematic experience offers humor, suspense, and heartwarming moments showcasing the lead's talent and the colorful characters from Runyon's story. Whether you're a fan of classic comedies or discovering this gem for the first time, it's a journey worth embarking on. In the movie, a popular Christmas song we know today as Silver Bells had a different name initially. It was called Tinkle Bells until a composer's wife pointed out the unintended association with urination. The last TV appearance of Bob Hope and Lucille Ball together was on the 61st Annual Academy Awards in 1989. Their appearance garnered a standing ovation. Just 28 days later, Lucille Ball passed away. The film also references Maxie Rosenblum, Orson Welles, Milton Berle, Bing Crosby, and the character Hopalong Cassidy. In one scene, when Sidney looks for Brainy's apartment number among the lobby's mailboxes, he reads off other names on the boxes New York celebrities who'd never live in a modest apartment complex, including Toot Shore, owner of Toot Shore Restaurant of the Stars, Grover Whalen, politician and president of the New York World's Fair 1939, and songwriter Johnny Mercer. Tor Johnson, a character in the movie, is portrayed by George the Animal Steel and Ed Wood. Additionally, Sid Melton appeared in flashbacks as Estelle Getty's late husband on episodes of The Golden Girls. In the movie, towards the end, he affectionately names the cow after his friend, Bing Crosby. Bob Hope, the iconic comedian, became the inaugural guest of honor at the Dean Martin Celebrity Roast in 1974. These roasts began as a segment on The Dean Martin Show and later evolved into standalone specials due to their immense popularity. Lloyd Nolan gained acclaim for his portrayal of Lieutenant Quig in the Kane Mutiny Court Martial, earning accolades on both Broadway and television, including the Donaldson and New York Drama Critics Awards and an Emmy, respectively. In an older version of this famous movie, William Frawley played a character named William Dunhill alongside the well-known actor Bob Hope. Bob Hope was a popular entertainer who had a special deal with NBC and worked with the famous announcer Don Pardo. Hope's life story, which you can find in a book called The Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, is really interesting and full of ups and downs. Despite facing challenges, Bob Hope stayed strong in the entertainment world and left a lasting impression on people everywhere. The book captures his influence well, showing how he wasn't just a funny guy on screen, but also someone who did a lot of good things for others. Hope and Frawley's partnership in The Lemon Drop Kid was memorable, showing off Hope's quick humor and their great chemistry together. As you read through the book, you'll see how Bob Hope made a big impact on American culture, not just through his movies, but also through his charity work. Each page tells a story of how he left his mark on the world, showing that his influence is still felt today. The Lemon Drop Kid introduced the popular Christmas song Silver Bells. Initially filmed in 1950, it hit theaters in March of the following year. 
The studio called back Bob Hope and Marilyn Maxwell to reshoot a more elaborate musical version of Silver Bells due to Bing Crosby's successful recording of the song in December 1950. Bob Hope later adopted the song as his own Christmas theme, performing it annually on his Christmas TV special, often as a duet with his lead female guest. In a scene from the film, Santa humorously asked the kid to put something in the pot, referencing a recurring joke from Bob Hope's radio show. Bob Hope himself discussed his comedic craft in a 1998 interview with Larry Wilder. Bob Hope, well known for his comedic talents, crossed paths with Bing Crosby and Dorothy Lou Moore in the early 1930s. Crosby and Hope met during a performance at New York's Capitol Theater in 1932. Around the same time, Hope encountered Lil Moore, who was then a cocktail singer at New York's Hotel 1 Fifth Avenue. Tor Johnson, a character actor recognized for his roles in horror films, faced challenges due to the nature of his work. Despite his success on screen, his wife Greta was reportedly uneasy with his roles. She felt that his portrayal as a monster in horror films contradicted his true character off-camera. Hope's contribution to cinema extends beyond mere entertainment. Three of his films, including The Lemon Drop Kid, have earned spots in the National Film Registry. The Library of Congress recognized these movies for their cultural, historical, or aesthetic significance. In the world of classic movies, a new star emerged in The Lemon Drop Kid, introducing actress Mary Murphy to audiences everywhere. Her debut performance was unforgettable, bringing a fresh and lively presence to the screen. Amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Bob Hope and Marilyn Maxwell shared a passionate romance, becoming one of the most talked about couples in the industry. Maxwell even earned the affectionate nickname Mistress Bob Hope from insiders, highlighting their special bond. For Anna Chandler, the Lemon Drop Kid marked the end of an era in her acting career. Each scene she filmed was a farewell to a chapter of her life, leaving behind a memorable mark that fans would treasure for years to come. This classic film, The Lemon Drop Kid, continues to be a reminder of the love, loss, and enduring spirit of Hollywood's golden age. Its timeless charm still captivates audiences today, serving as a tribute to an era that holds a special place in cinematic history. In the golden age of cinema, a talented actress named Mary Murphy graced the screen alongside three legendary male actors Steve McQueen, James Dean, and Marlon Brando. Their collaboration brought to life a captivating story that unfolds during the holiday season, from early December to the enchanting atmosphere of Christmas Eve. Throughout the film, Mary's on-screen chemistry with these renowned actors added an extra spark to the story. She effortlessly shared the spotlight with McQueen's rugged charm, Dean's rebellious spirit, and Brando's intense charisma, showcasing her adaptability as a leading lady. Set against the backdrop of the festive season, their dynamic performances created a memorable cinematic experience for audiences. Amidst the holiday-themed enchantment, Marilyn Maxwell's heartfelt rendition of Silver Bells became a memorable part of the film's soundtrack. Her melodic voice added warmth to the wintry scenes, blending seamlessly with the storytelling. In conclusion, Mary Murphy's collaboration with these cinematic legends, combined with the festive backdrop and Maxwell's musical talent, turned the film into a timeless classic. This story continues to captivate audiences, proving that the magic of storytelling and music transcends time.